Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Piathlon. In today's video, I will be showing you how you can pull data from Instagram using the Instascrape package. The kind of information we'll be pulling, we'll be pulling how many followers does an account have, we'll be able to see the hashtags associated with the post, and we'll also see how many posts are inside of a particular hashtag. And we'll all be doing this in Python using the Instascrape package. But before we dive into that, I need to give you a little disclaimer that anytime you're pulling data from the internet or using a web scraper to make sure that you're in compliance with all regulations and laws and also make sure whatever you're doing, you're doing something that's ethical and you're doing it in an ethical manner. So let's dive right into the code. This command that I'm about to show you, you can do that directly from your terminal or your command prompt, but I'm going to do it from directly in Jupyter Notebook. So since I'm in Jupyter Notebook, I'll have to start this with the exclamation point. If you're doing this from your terminal, you won't need that exclamation point. And all we're going to say is pip install instascrape. And there is a dash between insta and scrape, so make sure you don't forget that. And then we run that command. I already have this installed, so which is why it says requirement already satisfied. But if this is your first time installing it, you'll get different output. So once we have that installed, we're just going to go ahead and import all of the libraries inside of this module. And that's a very simple command. We'll say from Instascrape. Notice here there's no dash. When you import, when you install it, you have to have a dash. But when you import it, you actually don't need that dash anymore. So we just say from Instascrape, import asterisk. And asterisk just means everything inside. So everything inside Instascrape, that's what we're importing right now. Then run that command. And there's no output, which means everything ran successfully. And now we're actually going to need the URLs to the account, the post, and the hashtag that we're going to pull information from. And we're going to store those in variables. So the account that I'm going to be pulling from is the Wall Street Journal. And I'll just use the acronym WSJ. That's also what they go by on Instagram. So their profile, we'll have to store that with profile. And then we'll have our parentheses and quotes. And I'll put the link to their profile in there. We'll do the same thing for their post, so I'll say WSJ post, and that is going to be a post, and I'll put the link to that in there. And then we'll have the hashtag. So how many people are tagging WSJ when they post on Instagram? And we'll just say WSJ hashtag, and that will be a hashtag. And then we're just going to put the links to these. So I'm going to go to Instagram and pull some links, and then we'll go back to our coding after that. All right, so I have my Instagram pages pulled up now. This is the Wall Street Journal's page, so I'm just going to copy that link and put it in there. Then we'll do the same thing for their posts. And we'll repeat that for the WSJ hashtag. Then we'll run that. No errors there, so we're good to go. What we need to do is actually scrape those web pages. And this is where Instascrape comes in, and it makes everything extremely easy for us. All we have to do is put in our URL and then run the scrape function. So we can do wsj.scrape, and then we'll just repeat this for the other two. So we'll do wsjpost.scrape, then wsjhashtag.scrape. And then once we run those, that one might take a couple of seconds because it's actually running our web scrapers. But then once that finished, we can actually use those variables and start pulling out some information about them. So if we want to see how many followers does the Wall Street Journal have, we can just say wsj.followers. Remember, we're accessing an attribute, not calling a method. So we don't need parentheses here. And we can see they have 3.8 million followers. Now the next thing we'll take a look at are the hashtags associated with that post that we have stored in our WSJ post variable. And to do that, we just have to say WSJ underscore post. And then we'll have square brackets and single quotes. Or actually, you can use double quotes here too. And we'll just say hashtags. And we can actually see that that came back with the empty list. So our post doesn't actually have any hashtags. And we'll double check all of this information later. But before that, the last thing I want to check is let's see how many posts 
have users put inside that WSJ hashtag. So for that, we'll just say WSJ hashtag dot amount of posts. And we can see there is about 160,000 posts in that WSJ hashtag. So let's go back to these links and actually make sure that the information pool was correct. So we'll go to the actual Instagram page. Okay, that did not want to work, so let's try that again. And they should have about 3.8 million followers, which is exactly what they have. We also saw that they didn't have any hashtags on that post that we pulled. So let's pull up their post. Actually, I don't even need to pull that link. It was this post here. And that is correct. They did not include any hashtags in their post. So we're two for two so far. And then in the WSJ hashtag, we saw how many posts there were. So let's look up WSJ hashtag. While you're here, you might as well follow us on Instagram at Piathmon. We haven't been posting a lot recently, but we're going to have a lot of posts coming in the future. And also, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss an upload on YouTube. But back to the video, we can see here that there are about 160,000 posts in that WSJ hashtag. So, to, in this video, just to recap, I showed you how you can download this Instagram package, how you can pull information about an account, a post, or a hashtag, and we also verified that information to make sure it was all correct. Before you go, I would like to take this time to ask you to subscribe to Piathmon on YouTube as well as follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We have a lot of videos and we have a lot of videos coming in the future. If you go to our playlist, you'll see that we have videos on a wide array of topics. We have videos in cryptocurrency, Amazon Web Services, data visualization, and Python. We have a Python game development course using Pygame and the Python Basics course. So please check those out and we'll have more content in both R and Python come in the future, as well as more cryptocurrency videos and video essays. So please be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss the upload. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.